Okay, so let's quickly take these screws out. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. So next thing, we'll just pull, pull the cover and it pops straight off and we can have a look what's happened. Okay, so the cable here has snapped. I don't know how clearly I can show that. Let me see if I can zoom in. So just there. So what we're going to have to do is somehow take this out and just reconnect it to whatever mechanism it's connecting. So let me have a quick look and I can show how it's done. Okay, so what I've done so far, there's this little clip holding in the top cable. So what I've, sorry, covering the cable. So what I've done, I've got a small flathead screwdriver and literally just popped it off. And then what I've done, at the sides here, there's little clips, and if you push them in and you work your way around, and this all comes out. You just gotta be careful, obviously, when you take it out. So let me tidy that. So the spring popped off completely. I guess I should have been a bit more careful with that. I've pulled this element off, just to see if that helps as well. And now, Looking inside, give you a clear indication of where it's broken, just there, you can see. So now, I just need to work out how to pop this open, and we can somehow see if we can join the cable back up again. Okay, so the next thing to show, I've taken this bit off, and what it was, this was actually coming out of there, and I literally just got some pliers like so at the end, and held it quite tight, and at the other end, I just pulled on it and it popped out. Now, obviously that comes off as well, it's part of the mechanism. So let me put that aside. Okay, so what I've managed to do is just push the cable through, push it just enough that I pulled it out the other end and I've reconnected the neutral and I don't know if I can take it out again. Don't know how easy it is to see in there. So just along the edge, you can just see the end for neutral. So at least that way, you know you're connecting it to the right one in case you didn't make a note. And obviously live over here. Okay, so I've had a go at trying to take this clip off. I've struggled a little bit. I don't really think I'm gonna manage it. Um, so I've actually got another one here, it's slightly wider, just ever so slightly, hang on if I can focus, yeah. But on the positive side, it can clip in, I've just tested it out. So, what I'm going to do, just take this bit off, won't need that, the end there, and we'll take the, a little bit of the live wire, Just take a little bit off, like so. A bit more actually. There you go. Like so. And then we can just pop that in there. 
and then tighten it on. So I can just use my flat head pliers, tighten it like so. Be good if I had a, a crimping tool, but I guess got to manage with what we've got. And I'll just pull, squash it together here as well. not too bad fairly tight so I'll start pushing this back together again okay so I've got the cables clipped back on they seem fairly tight which is good and they're all pushed into position so it's just a matter of putting it all back together again so from what I remember that was here and then we had the plastic sea proof it just over this side so perhaps if I let that go through, okay, that's pushed in quite straightforward with the camera moved out of the way. And then this little round wheel thing, and then the spring in this position, I should just be able to push back here. Like so. And the next thing we want to do is unwind this. It sort of clips in like so and we just wind it up so let me work on that in the background okay so i've wound the spring up and need to work out which way around it goes so it actually hooks in like like so around there and then on here is a slight bit that goes in and that hooks onto that so it should be this way round. Just got to be really careful it doesn't unwind. Okay, that's hooked on. Turn it over. Bring that in. The other thing, we want, we want that to line up with that. So that's one of the things I remember when I was doing this initially. Okay, so I've managed to put it back on off camera. It was a bit tricky with the camera in the way. So that's that. The next thing is we want to connect it back up again. So you can see the two connection points in there. So from what I remember, this one went just in there this one went like so okay and then we just want to put this back on so if I just feed the wires slightly tidy push the camera as you can see it looks like these bits just clip in There you go, it's back on. So now, let's put it back in position. So obviously you want to be careful we don't damage any of these bits and pieces, these wires. So if I initially try just feeding this back in, so I think some of these wires actually clipped in around here onto the motor. If I bring it round like so, and then this goes something like this. So that bit is for the recoil action. So it's just now a matter of just putting this back together. So just in reverse order. So let me do that off camera just to make it slightly easier. Okay, so we've put everything back together again. I don't think I've done the coil mechanism correctly because when I press it, nothing happens. But let's have a quick test. And there you go, a working hoover. So thanks for viewing. Hope it's helped anyone trying to repair one of their Dyson hoovers with a similar issue. Thanks for viewing. And don't forget to like and subscribe.